We're at Citizen Machinery. Pet control, PCC, programmable chip control, if I'm correct, has been around 20, 30 years. But you've got the latest technology, which is LFE. Now, what does LFE stand for, first of all? Low frequency vibration. What is it? It's an os oscillation between the, sp uh, the spindle and the uh, axis cutting. Okay, so why would I use it? To control your swarf. Okay, so when you say control swarf, at the moment I'm running sliding head machine, nice big three metre bar feed, 24-7. It occasionally stops because it's built up a bird's nest. We won't have that. Oh, simple as that. There's no so. Yeah, it will. Um, we can chip the material. We can tell it how long the chip needs to be um, to control it, and we can run lights out. That's the main thing. You know, no operator involved. Well, to set up, of course. <laughs> so. In terms of, so at the moment I'm making a component, do I have to reprogram it all, is it quite straightforward? No, no we just add the G-code. Maybe bring the feed rates down a little bit, but that's it. So question, question marks in terms of, you've got your, at the moment you've got your bird's nest, so you can now run it 24-7 because you're chipping. What sort of materials? Any, any, you know, up from copper, um, all the way up to hard hastaloids, inconels, duplexes, anything you want, really. Plastics? Plastics, that's one of the best so Chris, best thing really is to show me an example please. Yep. And here's some um, run of your mill aluminium what we've got and this is your before yep. standard stringy bird's nest, 3-4 mil depth for cut. Yeah, nice big cut there though. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You have to run it a little bit slower, you know. Um, and this is... This is one you prepared earlier? This is one what I prepared earlier. This is with the LFV. Still your same depth for cut and fully chipped. You mentioned aluminium as an example, but you can buy aluminium that chips anyway? Yeah, Sigma chip. Okay. But, so what, what's the benefit then of the LFE if you can already get the chip in aluminium? The premium, premium of your aluminium. Okay, so you stand, uh, this will run standard aluminium, chip it? As long as it's H9 tolerance, that's all you need. Okay, so pretty much any material, you can use the, the standard material as well, not the, the pre, like the Sigma as you mentioned? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't need your fancy free cutting stainlesses or anything like that it can just be your normal stainless okay what about i mean engineers are going to see this as new technology what about things like tool life because it's surely with that oscillation it's going to damage your tools potentially it doesn't it actually brings the tool off the job which will allow lubrication per rev to get between the the tool and the job every every rev so essentially extending tool life potentially yeah potentially i'd say it's no worse okay so okay so you've got the Ultimately, you've got the benefit of being able to run the 24-7. What about cycle time then? Because surely, if you're, you're going to be running it slower? Nope. Same spindle speeds if you want. If you want to rein it back, we can pull it back because we can still chip the material. We don't have to do it the old-fashioned way of running the swarf off the spindle. We can just chip it at a big depth of cut. So you might not need a rough pass in there. You can just hit it in one go. Chris, you've given me, well, a nice insight into LFV. I want to see what you've actually done and made a component, please. Here you go. So what's the, what, what's the sort of before and after process on this component? So the before process was turning up to these shoulders, uh, rough turning, yep. and then finished turning afterwards. Okay, so essentially two, two cycles. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. Um, the only reason we've done that, uh, they, they were doing that, is because with the rough turning, we had a bad finish, and the material started to black as well. Right. Okay, so... That's one op, two ops, three ops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've got sort of four operations to get up to this shoulder and then they were turning the rest of it in one hit. So, yeah, essentially you're going to have that tool change, whatever it is. So four ops, now you're doing it all in one op yeah. with the LFE? One single pass, one single pass. So, as I said, and I don't want to go too much, but four ops, now down to one. So in terms of engineers' question, cycle time, it's coming down? Yes, it's coming down because, uh, well, especially on this component, yeah. because we could single pass it. So 24-7, bring the cycle time potentially down. Surface finish show, you said, it's because engineers will question with this type of process, it's going to make a different surface finish? It will, and most of the time it's made it better. It's like a semi-burnish just over the right. top of the, as the, the tool pulls back, it burnishes the top of it. Okay, so again, reduce those cycle times if you need that certain yep, surface yep, finish. Yep. So you hit it in one go, finish it in one go. Makes it sound simple. Right, so you sold me on LFV, how it's making the whole production process better. How do I get hold of that technology? You come see us at Citizen. Okay. <laughs> but well, you, you say that, but it, does it come with a machine? Can you retrofit it? It can't be retrofitted. It's not economical to retrofit it. Our machines are designed from the ground up to be LFV ready. 
Okay, so it's not just a case of adding software? No, ball screws, lubrication system, um, guards, there's a lot of stuff involved. Okay, so it's not, so the machine is really built to take on that technology? It's designed to take on the vibration, yes. So in terms of the actual machine itself, you say rigidity, is it on a ball screw, is linear drive? Uh, ball screw. Okay, so you still got, but you've got the linear, linear? Linear rails, yeah, okay. your linear rails. So again, that, that ties in nicely with Citizen Miano in terms of speed of machine accuracy. Exactly, yeah. Our machines are still fast. <laughs> okay. okay, Chris, you told us about the technology. Great component there. So if I wanted to get hold of it, what do I do? Come and see us and we'll get a test cut done. Oh, so that, you'll actually showcase what you yep, can do. Exactly. Bring some material down and we'll cut it. Nice and simple. Thank you very much.